Welcome. You're listening to the I'm Wired to Inspire podcast, creatively engineered by Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist. I'm Wired to Inspire is a powerfully packed podcast filled with inspiration and encouragement to get you through your day. It's designed to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. Now, stay tuned for your host, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist on today's episode of I'm Wired to Inspire. Hey, everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today on my podcast. Guys, it is uh, part two of something that I started yesterday. It's called Open Close. These are short messages. But God wanted me to really focus on what he'll be doing in this season with opening and closing things simultaneously on your behalf. Now, if you missed yesterday's episode, it's it's under 10 minutes long, and it's about open close, but the topic is enemies. So I want you to make sure you check that one out. But we're back here today with part two and part two is open close, but it's about new beginnings. And this is the part I'm supposed to tell you. While you will be navigating the rest of this year, there are going to be things that God is trying to bring to you that you have never experienced before. But it is going to cause you to do some things that may be uncomfortable that you are not used to. But we all know this is like the journey of a caterpillar to a butterfly. It's not comfortable, but it ends up beautiful. Beautiful. It's just like when a woman is pregnant and then she ends up giving birth. It always ends up beautiful, but the process may not be all that fun all the time. Right? So this part I want to talk to you about, and this is, this is, this is truly prophetic because I don't know who needs to hear this today. But there's a struggle that you, it's, a, it's a back and forth someone is going through listening to this. But I have to say this to you. And I want you to understand how powerful God is and how he's going to move in your life. If you're able to catch this word. You are going to have to learn and master the art of being open and closed at the same time. This is why we have the God we have. And this is a part of the reason why we are a peculiar people. We are peculiar because we can do that very thing. We can be open and closed at the same time. So let me give you an example of what that means. For some of you, you will have to close off an old relationship while being open to a new one at the same time. Some of you will have to close the door on that last job, that last situation, while you're opening the door to your new business while you're opening the door to a new job or a new position somewhere else. And you know, sometimes as human beings, and this is just habit. I mean, I know I do it all the time, you know, and, and again, and again, I think it's good because it's about things being decent and in order. You know what I mean? So this is still actually a good thing, but there sometimes there's seasons in life where, where God will augment and edit the situation for that season and that time. For that very time. And sometimes the old things pass away and then some new things come along and you have to, you have to work in that. So even when you're accustomed to being decent and in order, God still wants us to be decent and in order. But guess what? You can't put old wine in new wine skins. So with that being said, in order for you to get into these new beginnings, you may have to take those old wine skins and replace them with new ones at the same time. Meaning... You may not know where you're going to go. God just may tell you to go all while you're still trying to figure it out. You may have to be open-minded when it comes to moving into this new season of your life. But at the same time, you have to close off the things that have been keeping you stuck in the last season. Because it's counterproductive. It's counterintuitive. It's counteractive. You get the word here. It's counter. It's going against what it is God is trying to give to you. So you have to think about that in this next season of things being open and closed, really and truly think about what that's going to look like for you. What new beginnings do you believe are on the horizon? And God may have been telling you, I can't even release this new beginning to you because you have to do this the way I'm telling you to do it. You want to do it X, Y, and Z and be done and then start that. God may tell you to start something and you're not finished something else. He's still a God of order. 
But perhaps in that divine order, it may cause you to have to do some things simultaneously. And it may be uncomfortable. Because I'm going to tell you, that's the season I'm in. It started in July for me. It started in July, that very thing. He was telling me to do stuff. And I'm like, well, I don't want to do this without this being like that. I don't want to say this. I Oh, no, I don't want to be bothered with that. He's like, well, Robin, you're not going to get what I'm giving you. And guess what I found out weeks later, the first time was at the very beginning of this season starting. Guess what I ended up discovering? Had I not done those things simultaneously, had I not opened the door and closed the door at the same time, had I not been closed off to an old idea and open to a new idea at the the same time, I would have completely missed my entry for a new beginning. One day I woke up and God told me to do something. And when I tell you everything in heaven came down and confirmed to me that I was supposed to be doing it. I went with it. I was obedient. And I actually, that day I said, well, wait a minute. Why today? <laughs> like this just seems like it's too much going on. Lord, I want to be in order. Y'all, I will have, you know, within three weeks of all of that happening, I had to do it that day. I found out in retrospect, I found out later on behind the scenes when everything came to me, my mouth was open because God was setting up my new beginning as my past was ending at the same time. So remember, some of you are going into new beginnings and you cannot necessarily do it the old way. You may not be able to shut it down and then jump on to something else. It just may not be that easy peasy. He may say, no, I know you're still struggling with this, but I know you, you got to get that. Some of you, he may say, well, you're like, Lord, I can't stand this job. This is so much. He may say, well, listen, I need you, need you to get this part-time job with it too, just for a quick season. That's like opening something and closing something at the same time, but you still have to do it. Remember, God is not the author of confusion. So if you become confused, you have to take a minute and chill. You got to make sure the enemy is not trying to manipulate you. But at the same time, know that there is no confusion when God is clear about his word. Things are decent and in order. And even when things are decent and in order, it doesn't necessarily come with a, a tagline. Well, that means everything's going to be easy, though, and everything is going to be great. No, you may have to multitask. You may have to use your gift of multitasking or learn how to develop it. Because God will be opening and closing things at the same time when it comes to your new beginnings. I don't want you to miss that. And here's the final thought. Write down the things that you're doing right now and write down the things that you want to do. And ask God if they're interconnected in any way. And if he does tell you that you are, that, that those things are, make sure that you are taking the steps to do it. Ever he tells you to do in the time in which he tells you to do it, that is going to be your game changer. Make sure that you are closed off to the past and you are open to your future as God is setting you up for this new beginning. I'm wired to inspire. I hope you are too. Thanks for listening to I'm Wired to Inspire podcast at imwiredtoinspire.com. If you enjoyed the show, spread the word and be sure to hit the five-star rating on iTunes. For more information on this podcast and inspirational products and services, log on to imwiredtoinspire.com. And remember to live your authentic purpose. Thanks again and see you next time.